Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use textures. I know a few weeks ago that I promised to do a tutorial on this. It's actually very simple. It's going to be a very quick tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a photo right here. This is going to be a photo of a boy and he's in an alley with a brick and there's already actually a lot of texture going on in the photo but I thought it might look good with a little bit more so we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to cascade my photos so that I've got them all next to each other and let me see here let me move this down and move this down find my photo again okay what you want to do is you want to get your texture the orientation that you're looking for and if it's too small, I'm not sure that either of these are too small, but all you're going to do is you're going to use your move tool and drag it in and hold your shift key down so it centers. And this texture isn't too small. If your texture is too small for your photo and it's only a little too small, you can actually just um, control or command and the letter T and actually drag the corners so it fits your fills your whole picture. If it's way too small, it might become pixelated doing so. So you want to find high res textures. But this one actually fit great. So I'm going to go ahead and move this down now. And actually, to keep it not too complex, I'll get rid of everything else. Once you've got the texture on top of the photo, which you can actually see in the layers palette, you want to go to your layer one, which will be your texture. And you're going to go ahead and change the blending mode from normal. And there's a number of blending modes you can try. But let's go ahead and start with overlay. And I'm going to now maximize this. And you can see the overlay. You can see the texture really a lot on the door. You can see it over here as well because here's the on and the off and the on with the texture. So it's very simple. We can also try a soft light overlay. It'll be a little bit more subtle that way. Um, if you want something more funky, you can try the hard light or even the vivid light or even a linear light. And you can see we're getting more and more intense as we work our way in with these different blending modes. Hard mix, I probably wouldn't use, uh, but you have a lot of choices here. I tend to like overlay or soft light. Now, if it's on the skin at all and it bothers you, let's see if it is. It's actually not too bad on this one, but if it was, you can actually erase back. I'm gonna actually show you another example where it might be. We can go ahead now, I'm going to, again, Windows, Arrange, Cascade. And this time, I wanna show you guys those in a minute. I'm going to use this texture. So I'm going to put this one into our photo. Again, I held my shift key down when I dragged it in. The reason I did that was so it would center. Now we've got two textures here. I can actually change the blending mode of this one. I've got it on soft light. Now we're actually layering two textures. We're stacking them, which that's actually kind of a cool, a cool look, but we could also turn this one off if we wanted just to see this texture. I actually think I like this one better because it's got kind of a vignette built in. And if you get any on the skin, actually it is here. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I mean. On the arm, it's not a very nice look. So we're going to go ahead and add a layer mask. See the little box right here that's a square with a circle? That will add your layer mask for you. And you're just going to take a black brush, very soft edge. So you want to come in here and make sure you're using a soft round, let me look here, an airbrush soft round. And we're going to keep it very soft. And we're going to come in here with a low opacity brush, not quite that low, probably about 30-40% or so, and we're going to kind of brush over the skin. Sometimes you want to leave a little texture so it looks natural, like a natural transition. But again, you don't really want much on his face since it looks like chicken pox otherwise. And again, we'll come in here on the legs, and I'll kind of paint over the legs a couple times so it reduces the opacity there. This looks great, and if we wanted to add back that other one too, we could, or we could take the opacity down and kind of mix them up a little bit. That's all there is to adding texture. It's so simple. Now for the good, good news, very cool news. On Flickr, there is a wonderful person who said that I could have you guys go and download a bunch of high-res textures. I think some of them on there are not high-res, but most of them are. These textures I showed you today are from um, this set as well, from ground and then the little asterisk thing, floor. So you can see the name right here. I'll put a little box around it right there on Flickr. And I'll actually have a link on my website as well on the um, blog. So check that out. He has some wonderful, there's a number of wonderful textures there. You can see that's the volume one. 
and here's the volume two. But again, keep in mind these colors will dissolve into the background as you change the blending modes. So you'll actually be left with the really nice textures. So enjoy playing and hopefully this made texturizing very easy for you. Thank you again and come back to mcpactions.com blog for more video tutorials.